News. We have Aaron and Brandon live in our studio this morning, and they're local artists. They're going to perform a little bit later on in our show, but thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. And so what kind of genre of music do you focus on? So we don't like to identify by one genre. We're kind of genre fluid. Oh, nice. Yeah, so we like to, we started out as a metalcore band. Then we kind of moved into what's called post-hardcore for all the hardcore Texans out here. We, we used to play really heavy rock, and now we just play rock. I see this acoustic guitar. So to go kind of from metal to a softer sound, that's really interesting. I feel like that's hard to do as an artist, but what kind of inspired that? It was really the, um, the need to, and the want to sell out. And, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're so selling like, out. So what the industry's looking for Exactly, now, now. exactly. No, it's just as you get older, you, you either die a metal band or you live long enough to pick up an acoustic guitar and <laughs> we much. just, yeah. Oh my gosh, I haven't heard that yet, but that's, that's really interesting. So you kind of focus on this different sound, but um, have you had any performances recently? Do you perform locally out here or do you typically go to bigger cities in Texas? Well, we haven't really performed out here in a minute. This uh, show tonight is actually a big reunion show. Okay. It's a big old party, you know, with everyone. Um, a bunch of local bands, but also just kind of celebrating the, the music scene in general and where we've been and where we're going. We haven't really been active in a long time. This is kind of a comeback for us. That's really cool. And so this performance is happening at Cactus House. Cactus House. Yes. Tonight here locally. I love the Cactus House. They have a lot of great local events and support a lot of causes as well. But what time? What is time? Yeah. Uh, I think the doors are going to start around uh, 7.15. 7.15. Is there a mm -hmm. cost for this? Yeah, it's going to be five phones, but if you can't cover it, I got you covered. Literally anybody, I have like $40, so just <laughs> come through and I got you because we want everyone there. Um, you know, not him, but, um, but me. I got $40. you. Yeah, he doesn't? He doesn't. <gasps> no, I don't have $40. That's I'm what I'm going to tell He was too busy giving his money to people that didn't like Sweet Talker. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Well, I, I have had a chance to hear some of your music, and it's really good. I love the sound. But get out to this event, support your local artists, and, you know, I'm really excited that you're here today. I want to learn a little bit more about Here Lies the Hero, where that name came from as well. So, Here Lies the Hero is like the hero lies here in the music. It really, um, it really started as a, as a theme about Frankenstein, how, you know, he ended up, you know, getting, getting kind of messed up, and uh -huh. then he was laying there, but at the end he was kind of the hero of the whole story. And oh, our cool. earlier music was kind of focused on that, about how you kind of get pariahed for doing the right thing, mm -hmm. which I'm sure some Texans out there can relate to on, you know, any side of any political, you know, spectrum. Yeah, yeah. So... That's great. I, I mean, this is so awesome, and I can't wait to hear you perform live, but we will be doing that right after a quick commercial break. Thank you so much for being here today, but I cannot wait to see what you're going to play for us. Thank you, Clark.